Yeah, they, I think they're finally used to it in our place. <laughs> Green cosplay. I bet. Hey guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing a quick review of this 8 foot 12 plat uh, Joe Strain Raiders of the Lost Ark whip. I've had this whip for about 10 years and it is still in amazing shape. Uh, I've never used it on any of my videos. Uh, I always use my Crease and Corral whip for my uh, Whip tutorial series that's on this channel. So uh, this one has never seen the light of day as far as my channel has concerned. So I thought I would show it off a little bit today. Uh, sadly, uh, Mr. Strain doesn't seem to be making whips anymore. Uh, but there are still a lot of great whip makers out there. Uh, Bernardo Del Carpio is very good. Uh, Trinity Whip Company is outstanding. Uh, Anthony Delon just uses them. So uh, there are options out there if you still want to get a really uh, high quality uh, kangaroo bullwhip. But I uh, just want to take a nice close look at this one here. Of course all indie whips have the uh, leather wrist strap here at the end. You can see the uh, big fat knot there which is also a uh, trademark of an indie whip. And then just look at that braiding. This sucker is a work of art. There are a lot of people on the Facebook page that are always wondering what's the difference between a good whip and a bad whip, and they just keep posting stuff saying, should I buy this, should I buy that? Always go with a reputable whip maker. You'll be sorry if you don't. But uh, a good uh, indicator uh, as to uh, whether a whip is good or not is the tapering. As you can see, it gets pretty fat here at the end. And as we go around, the whip gets considerably thinner here towards the end, uh, right before the fall in particular. If the whip doesn't have that, it's not going to be good, guaranteed. So, I mean, you can just look at a whip from this angle right here and, and get a pretty good idea of whether or not you're getting a good whip or not, just from that taper. Uh, the other thing... Um, is it's going to want to, what's the word I'm looking for? This part right here will want to point in a particular direction when you're using the whip. If it's just a wet noodle in here, then that's also an indicator that it's not very good. So, two very, very basic things to look for when you're buying a whip. But, uh, yeah, this one is outstanding. So uh, let's go outside and crack it for a little bit. I'll show you what it can do. All right, we're out here with the Joe Strain whip. And let's just uh, see what it can do. Hasn't been used in quite a while. But I remember the sucker being very, very loud, which is one of the reasons I stopped using it. I actually had the cops called on me once while I was cracking this whip because the neighbors thought somebody was shooting a gun. That's with hardly any effort at all. Well, let's uh, yank it a little bit harder here. You're not supposed to do this for a whip, but I just want to demonstrate. The sucker's loud. Let's do a couple of side arms.
beginning to understand now what Mr. Delanges was talking about when he told me to get a different whip. Um, the longer fall on his whip and the longer handle make it a lot more sensitive to uh, what you're doing when you practice. So now that I'm trying to do those more intricate moves with this whip, it's not responding quite as well. But, nevertheless, for an indie Whip, uh, the performance is definitely there. I'm just a little rusty, and so is the Whip, because it hasn't been used in a while. It's still very, very stiff. And uh, considering I used this thing for about two years before I put it down and, and uh, replaced it with my Crease and Corral, um, it's still performing like a Whip that hasn't even been broken in yet. But anyway, um, I still like it. It's just really, really noisy, which is why you don't see this one on the channel very often, because uh, I don't know if you heard the dog barking, but uh, the neighbors don't like it very much. <laughs> but uh, anyway, um, for those of you that want a nice, heavy-duty, badass whip, this thing is still really cool, um, if you can get your hands on one. Well, anyway, um, thanks for watching this video. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And uh, you can also check out my Patreon page at uh, patreon.com slash captainwesticle. So, thanks for watching. See you guys in the next video.